And since they're not learning from touch at the moment, mostly, uh, uh, and explicitly some of them have said so, uh, I don't think they're going to learn to be dexterous like we are. And the whole argument for humanoid robots is you build one sort of robot, a humanoid, and it can do everything. So you don't have to build, as the, the CEO of Figure says, millions of different sorts of robots. So it's got to be pretty damn good at dexterity if it's going to do everything that you could ever want a robot to do. Right. And so, so you're not saying that, we, that we're not going to get to the point where these robots are built. You're saying that with the current approach, you know, we, we got to use touch much more than we are right now. Are, 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 there, are there companies using touch at all? There's, there's a little bit of it, and it's more in academia, but I think this is a mistake. And, and, and most of these robotic uh, humanoid companies have been started by AI people who haven't worked in robotics, and they, cut, they make a fundamental error. They think that what a robot does is produce trajectories where its arm moves in a particular way. No, what a person does when they interact with the world is they apply forces, and they sense what happens when they apply force. It's about the contact. The contact is the important part. And that's hmm. what robotics has learned over the last 50 years. And that's sort of being ignored. Ah, you know, we see a robot move like this, we'll just make it move like that. And then everything <laughs> will be the same. But it's not the case. Robotics is about energy management. It's about putting energy into a system and take, and importantly, taking it out to preserve safety to be around humans. And that's another problem humanoids have.